Hello and welcome to the 25th tutorial in the HTML basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at using the script tag. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 1 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description of the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. The script tag essentially allows you to run JavaScript code. The purpose of this tutorial isn't to actually teach JavaScript code, there'll be a separate tutorial series for JavaScript very soon, but it's just to show you how, how you can use the script tag to run a bit of JavaScript code. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the web page from tutorial 1 in a text editor and here we go. So we're just going to run a bit of JavaScript code. We're just going to put in the head tag. We're going to put in the body as well, but we're just going to put in the head and we're just going to put script, that's what it's called, and then put type equals text for slash javascript and then some close off the script tag then inside here we're just going to put alert now I'm just going to put hello I am Bob and then when we're running we should have an alert pop up saying hello I am Bob so let's just double click this and there we are we've got the javascript alert that's all you need to do to run JavaScript code. You just need to put a script tag and then you can start running. Naturally, if you've got a lot of JavaScript code, you would separate it and put it into a separate JavaScript file or even multiple JavaScript files. In tutorial 27, we're going to look at how to include a separate JavaScript file. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to include a separate CSS file. If you have any questions, feel free to message us and thanks for watching.